Sheffield Wednesday were both among the uh, pre-season candidates for honours. Wednesday, though, have had an awful start, and Blackburn suffered the surprise result so far, going down at home to West Ham last week. Who would show some form today? The commentary at Ewood Park comes from Clive Tilsley. 18 days and counting to England's World Cup showdown with Holland, and at last, Alan Shearer starts his first league game of 1993. He's got a fine goal to beat Bournemouth in a midweek cup tie here, but today will provide a much better measure of his readiness for an immediate return to international football. Paul Walhurst has an immediate reunion with Sheffield Wednesday, three weeks after his belated move to Blackburn and on the weekend of his 24th birthday. 24 is actually the average age of the team Kenny Dalglish feels today. Kevin Gallagher gets the nod over Mike Newell as Shearer's striking partner. Kevin Moran is missing, but Colin Hendry is back for his first league appearance of the season in defence. Sheffield Wednesday are without both David Hurst through injury and Carlton Palmer through illness. Chris Bart-Williams starts the match as an emergency attacker, just as Paul Warhurst did for the first time a little over a year ago. Vic Callow is the man in charge. Blackburn Rovers kicked off last Saturday with a chance to go to the top of the Premiership table. They begin this weekend in eighth place. Wednesday, just outside the bottom three. Ripley. Mark Williams got back to help out. This is Hyde. Given straight to Lasso. May. Here's Gallagher again. Sherwood making a run beyond him. Shearer's in there too. Play just behind him. Wilcox. Sherwood. Warhurst. Oh, almost. Well, that's the name that would have been plastered across the back pages tomorrow. Paul Warhurst against his old club. Ten minutes gone. And denied. A headline goal by the right-hand post. Headers by Bright again. This is Sherwood. Ripley. Knocked on by May. Down by Shearer. Well, David May went for it when Kevin Gallagher was maybe better set. It was a lovely touch, first from May, but then particularly from Shearer. Neatly down. Uh, Blackburn just had too many players there. David May took it away from Kevin Gallagher. Sheridan. Crowded out. Here goes Gallagher. Shearer. He'll have a crack. Stopped by Woods. In goes Gallagher. Warhurst waiting. Oh! Well, it just clipped the back of Paul Warhurst's heel. And Sheffield Wednesday somehow escaped. Both Alan Shearer and Paul Warhurst desperately close to providing a breakthrough there. Chris Woods just managed to reach this but couldn't hold it. Gallagher it was who closed in and squeezed the ball along the goal line. And it actually fell behind Paul Warhurst. I think he just got a foot on it and cleared it on Wednesday's behalf. You've changed teams now. Walker yet again. Here's Sinton. Bright. Sheridan. Nicely done. Roddle. Sinton's made a break down the centre. Mims has come to the edge of the penalty area. Oh, and a good challenge by Colin Hendry. Sinton was just setting himself. Just wanted a touch to steady himself for the strike. And Hendry wouldn't let him have it. Lovely football from Sheffield Wednesday on the break. Corner from Waddle. Later rather than sooner. It's towards Andy Pearce. It's not down for Hyde and he's in. Graham Hyde gives Sheffield Wednesday the lead. Tenth minute of the second half. And the smallest man in the Blackburn penalty area, Graham Hyde, scores only his second league goal. Andy Pierce it was who won Waddle's corner beyond the far post and Hyde just nicked in and nicked it beyond Mims 
and Sheffield Wednesday have nicked the lead. Hendry got a touch on it, Gallagher struck the ball! And he's all over in the blink of an eye. And for the second time, Chris Woods is rescued by the frame of his goal. Kevin Gallagher, the unlucky man. And Woods hardly knew it had happened. Rock the goal. Statistic on a goalkeeper's CV. Newell. Gallagher. Shearer. And again. 1-1. Alan Shearer is back. Official. Equaliser has come with a little over nine minutes to play. And the familiar cry of Shearer. Rings round Ewood Park. Denied at the first attempt, but he's not the sort of fella who's going to be denied ultimately. And he leathered it past Woods. <laughs> Newell. Warhurst. Oh! And for the second time this afternoon, Paul Warhurst is denied by Woodwork. The third time for Rovers. It was a lovely, lazy swing right over Chris Woods and right onto the top of his crossbar. Yeah, I think um, personally, from a personal point of view, I've, um, I've lasted the game well and felt good towards the end. Um, I, I was breathing heavy the last five minutes, but that was expected of me. Match fitness is a difficult thing to define, but are you match fit now? Yeah, I certainly am. Um, I don't think I would have started the game if I wasn't match fit. Um, the, the manager's kept me on the bench for the last uh, six or seven games. Um, if, he, if he thought I was match fitness, he maybe put me in a bit earlier, but that was his choice. He's put me in on Tuesday and kept me in again today, and uh, hopefully I'll keep my place for next week.